Hey Minecraft, Colin here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a nice little one-wide tileable automatic chicken cooker. So over here I have two example machines. One to show you what uh, an actual chicken cooker like this in survival would look like, and what the actual components of one of these chicken cookers are. So for exhibit A we have the actual machine built up already, and it's got the storage blocks and everything. It's going to be done down all the way to uh, I think 1.11 uh, at least. Uh, but if you're running 1.12 uh, or like 1.11 or free, like not 1.13 plus, uh, if you want to put chests next to each other, you have to alternate between trap chests and actual chests. So uh, the way that this works is that I uh, squeeze the little chicken cooker into uh, one slice. So we have the dropper with an observer clock to uh, dispense the uh, eggs whenever there's one inside a dispenser. And we have a bunch of chickens up here, uh, filling, uh, we have about 25 chickens in here, filling up the dispenser with eggs. And then the chicken, baby chickens, get uh, dispensed here onto the slab, where there's some lava here. And as soon as it uh, grows up, it gets killed instantly, and its uh, cooked chicken gets dropped down right into here. It's a very simple machine, and you could tile this all the way up to, like, ridiculous numbers. It's uh, tileable, so you can build it as far as you want, but uh, for an example, I'm just going to show you how to build four slices of these. To start, what you'll want to do is you'll want to place down your storage block right here, and you can, since we're doing four slices, I'll just put four here. And behind that, you want to put four hoppers leading into it. Of course, if you wanted to, you could have a huge hopper line, uh, something like um, leading into one single barrel, so you could have it like... Uh, like this, if you're doing it tiled, tiled, so it actually goes to a central storage system, which is not a bad idea, so let's use this as an example. So once you're done, you want to place some uh, slabs on top of those hoppers, and then you'll want to place uh, some temporary blocks here, and place dispensers on top of it. Make sure that they face towards the slabs. Perfect. Now remove those temporary blocks, place some blocks behind those, and place comparators there. And you want to place some sticky pistons next to the comparators. Basic uh, observers. Have the observers face towards the comparators. Temporary blocks here. And just place some observers here. That's the first part of the machine done. And now all you have to do is place some hoppers on top of here. And uh, here what you want to do is you actually want to encase the chickens. So uh, just have a little enclosure here so that they can't actually get out. Just as long as they can't get out, it's all good. And then, just like that, should be okay. I'll move the barrel over by one. And uh, once you've done that, you can also place some uh, glass here so that you can actually check up on uh, your chickens as they're being cooked. Now here, you want to take some lava and place one in each of these. So that it looks like this. Place some blocks on top of the lava so that uh, uh, your chicken can't escape, even if it's trying to. And uh, you can place some observers on, uh, <laughs> excuse me, blocks on top of the observers so that uh, we can actually enclose the, the, uh, uh, the chickens in this little enclosure here. So up here is where you want, are going to be keeping your chicken. So if I were you, I'd surround it with, uh, I'd uh, actually leave the roof off with slabs so that uh, chickens can't actually... Uh, gets out and mobs can't spawn on it. So what you want to do is you could, if you're in survival, have two chickens in here and then just breed them up with a bunch of seeds. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to put a bunch of chickens in here by uh, spawn egg. And once you have uh, sufficient chickens that you think are enough, you can just cover it up. And then the entire thing is done. Uh, after about 15 minutes, the chickens will uh, start laying their first eggs. And then there's always a bit of a chance whenever the dispenser actually throws the uh, there was an egg, it will spawn a chicken, uh, but once it's actually spawned, you just have to wait for the ch uh, baby chicken in here to grow up, and as soon as it grows up, the lava kills it, and then the cooked chicken actually gets put into the barrel. A bit of an interesting concept, this farm. I'm sure it's been done before, but if not, that's cool, I guess. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you really loved it, do consider subscribing, it helps the channel out, and me personally. And also, I now have a Patreon, so maybe if you want to support me, you can head over to the page and maybe drop a buck or two. But thanks for watching. I'll see you later.